Jace Tunnel here, Mission Aransas Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Today, we're talking about ghost crabs. Let me see if you can see this little guy in here. You see the little ghost crab? Now we're gonna let him out. We've got a hole here, and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about him. And actually, I bet you when he gets out of here, I can probably catch him, let's see. And I, can get, I, wanna, I wanna give you a close, oh, ah! Let me give you a close look at this thing. I'm gonna try not to hurt him here, and try not to hurt me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, y'all see this ghost crab? That thing's awesome, huh? Did y'all know that these things, they can live in the water? They also, they have gills, they can breathe air. They've got these little hairs on the bottom uh, or on their uh, legs that they can hold water on because they have to maintain their gills. So whenever they're on land, you usually see the smaller holes closer to the water. And uh, that's because the younger ones uh, many times need to get to the water sooner than the big ones can go further uh, from the water and have their holes. Their holes can actually be uh, up to four feet deep. And um, these are, you can't eat them. So you think, I know you're thinking like the blue crabs, you, you're wondering if you can eat them, right? Don't try to eat them. So they're um, omnivores. So they go around and, you know, uh, dead vegetation, stuff like that. Uh, they're eating on that. Uh, insects, clams, you know, anything, even sea turtle eggs. And so, you know, here in Texas, we actually excavate like the Kemp's Ridley sea turtles and then take them to be incubated. Uh, they're the most critically endangered sea turtle. But this little guy right here, these would uh, eat those turtles. But uh, most of these, they're nocturnal. You can still see them out, uh, you know, during the daytime. Nocturnal means the uh, majority of the time they come out at nighttime. Uh, but this is a really cool animal. And I'm right here by a hole. I was gonna see if I can get them to go in this hole. So let me pick this up. And let's see if he'll go in there. He might be too scared. Oh, I don't think that hole's big enough for him. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now you know a little bit more about uh, what a ghost crab is, what it does, uh, that you can't eat it. Always respect the wildlife and don't be picking them up and stuff like I just did. But that was for educating you. Now, you know, normally I just leave them alone. Real cool looking animal. Um, okay. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.